in this video we are going to discuss laplace transform of a dc signal so dc signal means for example i am considering x of t is equal to 1 this is a dc signal this will be in the form of like this so this is dc1 we can apply this concept for any dc dc5 or 6 or a or b anything the voltage is equivalent to that dc value so i am considering the signal x of t is equivalent to 1 this can be treated as dc signal from minus infinity to plus infinity that is equivalent to 1 from minus infinity to plus infinity my dc signal voltage is equivalent to 1 so now i need to find out the laplace transform or spectrum or frequency domain of this dc signal whether that is possible or not we will see now so here for this one i want to write like this u of t plus u of minus t why because from 0 to infinity we can say this function is unit step function and from 0 to minus infinity we can say this function is shifted or reversed unit step function that means time reversal unit step function u of minus t by combining u of t plus u of minus t you are going to get your dc signal so my x of t now onwards i use it to write my dc signal now onwards i am going to write like this u of t plus u of minus t for example if your dc is equal to 2 then 2u of t plus 2u of minus t is the equivalent of dc in terms of unit step if your x of t is equal to a a u of t plus a into u of minus t will be equivalent dc in terms of unit step so now you know that laplace transform so now we need to consider laplace transform of this dc means u of t plus u of minus t so you can take individual transforms when we are discussing integration and differentiation properties we solved for u of t laplace transform of u of t is 1 by s and laplace transform of u of minus t is minus 1 by s so just you need to take minus when you are having change in um, minus from here to here then in transform we can put minus in laplace transform we are having that simplicity so here resultant you are getting zero yes there is no laplace transform for dc signal now we'll skip into region of convergence topic whether region of convergence is giving common area then we can say we are having laplace transform we will check in that manner also so here i am not writing any zero or anything here i am going to region of convergence so how we will see region of convergence by equating poles is equal to zero by getting poles by using denominator equal to zero we will get plot for this region of convergence when you equate with 0 your s is equal to 0 always your real part is equal to 0 your real part is equal to 0 but your real part is greater than 0 or less than 0 means here that is greater than 0 and here that is less than 0 now how you can represent total region of convergence we are not having any common area one way that is purely right sided and another way that is purely left sided when any two signals are purely right lead and purely left sided sequences we can't say there is common region of convergence so definitely the common region of convergence is not there so there is no roc and no laplace transform for the dc signal so whenever the given what is the laplace transform and roc of dc signal we can directly say there is no laplace transform and roc of dc signal 